What's going on everybody and welcome back. We've got the latest MTB Pro Box for November 2018. Uh, it's winter in Chicago land, so now we have to get winter baits. It's just that simple. Let's take a look and see what we got. My son already stole the sticker. I can show you a quick clip of why he didn't stay on camera. That's a fish. I'm gonna poop. That's a fish. It's just a happy Halloween. We're gonna have to try this again later. Happy Halloween. Okay, and uh, that's why. It's that simple. All right, in the dibble, we have first up the Excites Bait. Uh, Excite Bait KB5, which is this bad boy. Let's crack it open. Show you what's going on here. Uh, really cool, actually. Color, kind of a thread fin uh, looking color there. Really kind of like that. Very neat. Kind of like a cross between a thread fin and a shad. It's got a really wide middle portion here. Uh, on the bottom, you can see it really well. But uh, this is going to wall real well in the water. It's going to work great in winter and spring, summer, really all year round for the most part. It's got a little bit of red on the bottom. That should, uh, that should catch fish really clear water. My wife just walked by holding up candy, wiggling it around like a crazy person. See you. See what you're doing. All right, next up we have something I've never actually seen before. Didn't even know Z-Man made this, but it is a chatterbait, but in a bucktail, like a bucktail jig. Uh, they have this listed for $7.95, or $7.99, but uh, this, is, this is different. I'm... Uh, Kind of surprised by the look at this. So traditional like bucktail, but with the Z-Man chatterbait uh, front end. So very interesting. Uh, what did this, does it show what size? Because normally on them they show it. Yeah, three eighths. I will say Z-Man does a really good job of like showing their sizes and everything. This is different. I mean, it's, it's definitely not the traditional uh, Z-Man by any means. And if you've been getting, you know, these, MTV Pro Boxes for a while. There was a little while ago that we all got these bucktails, but very and very similar, but without this uh, chatterbait option. So this should be very interesting. Should try this. I'm, I've never thrown something like that. That'll be interesting. Next up, we have the Strike King Rodent. As a as somebody who loves to throw creature baits, and I mean loves to throw creature baits, it's nice to see this really large package of Strike King KVD rodents in such a great color of green pumpkin. This, I'm really excited to throw next year. Um, you can really actually, this is a different one that I've gotten in the past. You can really feel the salt in these. It almost feels like uh, like a Sanko or uh, like a Sanko worm. I can even feel the, the different amounts in my hands. Where I've had these before where they aren't as uh, aren't as filled with salt. And I thought the, the quality of those was really good, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, so this one's listed with coffee and seat and uh, and salt. Very cool. Six pack, so so a normal size, not one of those sampler sizes that I despise so much. Next up we have the Big Bite Baits Cocoon Tail Worm, which is this bad boy. I'm gonna guess this is something like a, uh, a traditional stick bait, but let's take a look here. Oh no, it's like a, uh, it's like a ringworm. That's interesting. I wonder, I would say you'd probably want to do this like wacky worm almost. That's different. You could do this a bunch of different ways. You could do this Texas rig, you could do this wacky worm. This is gonna be, this is different. Look at this thing. Uh, zooming, there we go. Look at that, that thing is crazy. Black and blue. Looks like, uh, see here, there's seven in a pack. So again, not a sampler pack, kind of cool. Um, that's different. That's something I would never normally throw. It's it's kind of under the same category as this bucktail chatterbait, you know, something I would never have bought. Still going to it. Dig it, really dig it. Uh, next up we have Carl's Amazing Baits Hoss Craw. So my guess is, my guess, is that because the Guggen squad is so closely connected with the MTB squad, that these are gonna be very, very similar to the Kraken Craw that comes from 
the Gooking Squad. Like the case, the, the packaging looks almost identical. Uh, the bag, very similar, just different graphics on it. My kids par apparently can hear me because they're yelling for me. My wonderful wife is taking care of them at the moment. Um, and I was, yeah, I'm dead on right. That's exactly what this is, just in some crazy colors. Uh, so this is a laminated variation where the blue's on the bottom and the, the green's up top. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much putting money on the fact that this is going to be, you know, kind of a knockoff of the of the MTV baits, or of the Guggen baits. And you know what? I'm okay with that. This could have even been a variation that they came up with that they didn't go with for the Guggen baits, but they're gonna use for Carl's baits. So, very cool. I actually plan on using that. That's gonna be different, different color, different scheme. So, that's pretty neat. And again, it's a full set. Um, they listed for like five and a half dollars, but uh, probably worth a little less than that. But it's a good choice. Next up is the Lunker Hunt lipless crankbait. Lunker Hunt always tends to have a good quality bait to them. Uh, they always really come through and this color is, is really cool. It's got a blue color scheme but you can't really ever open their packaging. Their packaging doesn't want to be cooperative by any means so we're gonna have to crack that open this way. There we go. Yeah, oh well that's different. It has uh, two different, let me see if you guys can see that has two different ways that you can tie to it. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Oh, there is. Uh, one gives a bigger wobble, one gives a tighter wobble. So if you want the tighter wobble, you go with the front one. If you want the wider wobble, you go with the one in the back. Uh, so it gives you two variations of a lure, um, which is really cool. That's, uh, that's also different. I don't know that I would have bought that either. Um, but winter is here. This is a winter bait. Let's give it a chance. And last but not least, we have the Mustard Elite Stand-Up Head. Mustard makes great hooks. Uh, you're gonna find mustard hooks on everything anymore. But uh, these are gonna be a little stand-up weight that you can put pretty much any of these soft plastics on. Uh, specifically, that worm would work great with this. But uh, can get right on there. It's got the bait keeper on there, so you can't lose it. Um, and it's gonna keep that bait nice and high you guys can see that that bait nice and high so if there's any weeds or anything it'll sit right on top of it and do what it's supposed to do and catch fish all right guys thank you so much for watching this unboxing if you like these videos please make sure to hit the thumbs up down below comment on what is your favorite bait out of the whole batch and if you agree that the Carl's amazing baits are probably one of the rejects from the Guggen squad of what they decided not to use and Carl's Bates got away with it. I, I think I got you on this one, guys. I think I do. Guys, lastly, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, happy foozin'.